I'm Deck. And I'm Darren. And this is Fox Deck. And today we're going to talk about the Terra 250 Racing Quad. Yeah, that's right. This particular quad has multiple colors. Today we have the pink, mm. hot pink. Yeah, try to make it its view. Looks very pretty. Yeah, and, and you can also have yellow, mm -hmm. green, and orange. Yeah, I don't true. know who wants the orange, but definitely this color is the one to have. So let's talk about how lightweight it is. This particular one is made of carbon fiber with aluminum and a little bit of plastic. As you can see, this particular canopy has what's called an easy open, easy access. So we're going to use the two fingers here. I'm going to have to hold on to a little better. Yeah, hold on a little bit. Sure. Two fingers and easy open. So there's no screws, but it holds tightly. That's one benefit. And he's going to talk a little more about that. Yes, that's right. Uh, for this kind of thing, you can directly put the battery inside or adjust your flight control very easily. Yeah. And, then, and it actually, secures actually, really it secures well. It secures truly, truly well. Yeah, yeah very well. Mm. Now let's talk about where we're going to mount those ESCs. The ESCs are here and you have ultimately a very, very good heat distribution point. That's this right. aluminum will not only secure the foot very well, it, you know, the three screws through here, but it also helps to dissipate that heat because you don't want the ESC too darn hot, right? Yeah, also helps to be the wires going through, no, no many wires. That's right, you got less wires and the wires are going to come through here and then they're going to solder into the PC board and run down the line through here and you've got your other ESCs and motors coming through here. That way you have less wire mess, right? We don't want wire mess, right? So at this point, can we talk about the, the angled camera mount. Yeah, and also the feature of this one is the it's an angled, adjustable angled uh, camera mount. Why we do that? Because uh, with this one, very lightweight, made of carbon fiber, it's very lightweight. So it can go very fast, like 60 or 70 kilometers uh -huh. per hour. So in that case, with a very strong motor, you want to fly in this angle, but not this angle. In that case, you don't want to always look and at the ground, you want to look in yeah, your the camera angle of needs of to be ground. frontal. Yeah. So the camera angle can be adjusted. You can uh, move it up a little bit, so you can uh, always see the front while flying this way. Uh -huh. Also, the lightweight helps with the maneuvering. So you can maneuver, almost drive. turn on a dime. Yeah, yeah, you fly in this angle, and if there is a hard turning, you go in this way. The lightweight helps. So it makes it just come right on around. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now I noticed right here, because we're looking at the top of it here, yeah. you have the antenna mount and you have the GPS mount. Yeah. And what other possible mounting can we do in this one? Yes, uh, the GPS mount here and the uh, antenna, and it's uh, actually FPV transmitter mount right here. So you can uh, put antenna right here like this. And also if we open it, you can also see Here's the fly control mount. Uh, just, for example, it's a mini three, a mini CC3D. So you just put it here, and also I think there's enough space for the OSD system. Uh, if you want to see the text overlaid on your video to see the fly data, GPS signal, yeah, you always need the OSD. So you can mount it in there as well. Yeah, there's maybe, enough maybe space. The ender, uh, okay. Enough space. Okay. Uh, this is and quite nicely designed frame. We got the battery going in here, right? Yeah. And the battery has a nice little system right here. We have a system. One is to keep it from moving left and right and sideways. And then we have, of course, the magic tape yeah, of sorts. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of a magic tape. Securing system. Right. It's thing. a securing system that's going to keep that battery yeah. right in that little spot right yeah. there. This is the Tyro 250, and the battery. I choose the biggest battery possible for it. This is the uh, 2203S battery. So just to slide in and use the magic tape <laughs> and securing, securing system, system yeah. to secure it. Yep. And here, what's the magic thing is, uh, you just directly plug it on, plug it on, and the, all the powers go through the PCB. So mm -hmm. if you mount your ESC uh, into the four aluminum cases, they all get power from the single battery. So no many wires, no messy wires, make it so neat and clean. So here we have the, 
So also we have on this side, we have the where the engines are going to mount. Yes, and we're, right. we can have up to two or three different styles, I think, right? Yeah, we can go we have the, the 1806 here. motor, yes. and what's the top motor that we can use in this one? Uh, it's a 2208. 2208, it's a quite big. Uh, we have an example here, it's a 2204. You see, just uh, can fit the motor right here, and uh, with this kind of uh, a frame, we can use a 5 inch propeller like this. This is a 5 inch, and we have multiple colors, of course. Yeah, yeah red, and, you know, and color also, you uh, yeah, this is a 250. Also, another type is a 280. 280, yeah. 280. 280 has a longer arm, so you can put on mm, larger a propeller. About a 6 inch uh, maximum, yeah, right? Bigger propeller always means the better efficiency because uh -huh. you have a bigger size propeller. Yeah. So, 6 inch though is the maximum, is that right? Yeah, on this frame, 5 inch. On five, two, five to s oh, yeah, on this frame, two eighty. Two eighty is maximum six. Inch. Inch. Yeah, six inch. Okay. I uh, I think the fifty inch is enough because we have two blade or three blade. Right. Okay. And we also have the landing feet. Yeah, landing feet is very important. It protects the uh, copter when it comes in maybe a little wrong. This one will take some of the abuse and not have to put some of that energy into the arm. It's better to have these. Yeah, because the, this kind of a racing copter always fly very low, very close to the ground. So it's a potential danger. You can hit the ground when you are you flying too fast. But with the hard landing gear, you can directly crash it or even crash your the whole body. But with the soft landing feet, it's a very good one to protect the whole body of it. Also, if you hit ground, you bounce. Boom, yeah. like this, and you fly back to the air again. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Today we've talked about the Tara 250 racing copter, and I know that you have a little nice funny joke on this one here. Yeah, that's uh, due to the translation. Who knows, the people, engineers are not the English translators. Yeah, they, translators. Don't, translators. they don't speak English well, uh, no. So the Chinese sounds like Time and space traveling machine. Wow, it's sound big. It's, yeah, yeah, you can't afford for it. The, for the English, it's like, through a BB kit. I don't want what I want to go so through. So we're going it. through something. I don't know. <laughs> through space, but not really time. <laughs> so, okay. Well, let's take this 250 out and fly it. Yeah, and maybe the wait. translation won't work, but the copter works good. Yeah, yeah. Let's sure. go do it. Go. I'm Jack, and I'm Darren, and this is Fox Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the Taro Turret. Turret. Taro. 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 I'm going to make sure I say it right. <laughs> Taro or Tarot? I don't know. Tarot. 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 T R. Like parrot. T A R O T.